Hello, hello again, everybody. Zack Attack is here with the Attack Line for this Thursday, June the 19th, 2014. Alright, let's get started with your billboard number ones. Well, we have a new number one on the top 200. Man, it seems we have a lot of one week number ones. Following the one week number one, Miranda Lambert, we now have, kicking that off, Jack White's album, Lazarito debuting at number one. With 138,000, but most notably, it had the biggest first week sale for vinyl since Pearl Jam's Vitalogy nearly 20 years ago. Under the sound scan history, 40,000 copies of vinyl because Jack White is an old school guy. But he may be another one week number one on the, on the top 200 as he may be kicked off next week by Lena Del Rey and her new album Ultraviolence. But while we may have another one week number one, on the album charts. For the fourth week in a row, Iggy Azalea retains number one in the Hot 100 with Fancy. While well, Size Hangover debuts at number 30 and it should stay down there because the song sucks. I, just, I like the video, but the song's not dancy at all. But uh, there you go with that. Speaking of songs that aren't dancy, and I'm glad it failed, it's Robin Thicke's latest single, Get You Back. Now, of course, he, he's trying to win back his. Now, a strange stripe all uh, with Get Her Back, and Get Her Back's not dancing. I'm glad it failed. Because it ain't no Blurred Lines. Because last year, at this time of year, Blurred Lines was like the hottest song of the summer last year. We'll see if he tries to recapture that magic. But hopefully, it won't be as dramatic as Get Her Back, but it might be. Because it might be his Get, Get My Wife Back album. It's been rumored, and now it's official now, that his new album, coming out in July, July 1st, is going to be called Paula. Yeah, that's right. The Divorce Album. Uh, he announced the release date, the album title, and the track listing. 14 tracks in all. And uh, we'll see if this tries to, if this will win Paula over. With such songs like You're My Fantasy... Still Badly Crazy, Lock the Door, Whatever I Want, Love Can Call Back, Too Little, Too Late. I just hope they got us something dancing in this album. You know, I want a dancey, I like this album, this Chucky, I like dancey songs. So I was more than happy to see Get Her Back there, because it's not dancey at all. It's summertime, Robin. You Get the memo. You had the biggest summer song last year. I know you're going through this a lot of times, buddy, but still give us a good dance song for the summer. Unless you don't want to be Staged by Fancy, which is what it's doing right now. So there you go. I would think new album, named after his estranged wife, coming out on July 1st. Speed of people bombing, of course, Lady Gaga released her most recent album in November, Art Pop, and even though it debuted on top, it died very quickly because of no good singles, and more importantly, videos. Now, Gaga did release the second single, Do What You Want, followed by the third single, Guy. Now, there was a video for Guy, but Do What You Want never had a video. Or there was a video, but it was scrapped. Nobody knew the reasons why this video was scrapped. Now, apparently, parts of the video have been leaked on the internet, and now we know officially why the video was never released. According to the video, as it has been seen on TMZ, that it featured snippets of the video with some very various scenarios being assault and basically someone calling it an ad for rape. Now, the reason why this video was pulled is not because of the sexual assaults, it's because of the people involved would rub people the wrong way. The fact that it's kind of a sexual assault video directed by Terry Richardson, who's been accused of touching his models. And R. Kelly, we all know his legal troubles within the last 10 years or so. So I saw the clip of this video, like everybody else has, and uh, it's like really out there. You know, and I'm like, I can tell why it got banned. He even had Terry in the video shooting a nude Gaga. So it's like, it made almost kind of sense for this video not to come out because of, you know, the controversy it might have caused because of the nature of the video and the guilty by association with R. Kelly and Terry Richardson knowing their legal past. And more specifically for Terry 
illegal current. Of course, there has been no official statement from Lady Gaga about this video leaking on TMZ. Like I said, the video was scrapped because apparently Gaga's team, like I said, did not want in the presence of R. Kelly and Terry Richardson to cause too much controversy. Like I said, the sexual themes. Like I said, guilty by association. So there you go. Lady Gaga finally leaked the, well, she didn't leak it herself, but someone else leaked the clip of the banned or pulled do what you want video that never came out and now we know why it never came out. Now, uh, on with some news on a movie involving one of the most notorious rap groups of all time. N.W.A. In words with attitudes. I don't want to say that word. Uh, they are making a biopic of the history of this notorious group. Of course, they call it the world's most dangerous rap group. And uh, it's going to be released through Universal. The movie, which is going to be entitled Straight Outta Compton. It's going to be coming out on August 14th, 2015. It was supposed to be released on the next Bourne film. But now the next Bourne film is coming out in 2016. And the first photo of the cast has been revealed along with this release date. Ice Cube is, of course, an executive producer. And uh, the cast will indeed insist of Ice Cube's own son, O'Shea Jackson Jr., playing his father. And we also have uh, a lot of up-and-coming actors playing all these famous rappers, like uh, Jason Mitchell is playing Easy e after apparently having an out-of-the-park screen test. And then the others, we got Corey Hawkins. And he's, I don't know who's playing, but I think other, I think he's playing Dr. Dre. And uh, that's about it. So uh, there you go, that's the, uh, Situate F. Gary Gray is the director. He's directed various movies, including The, F the First Fighter, Sad and Off, and also directed music videos in his day, including the award-winning TLC Waterfalls, and various videos for Dr. Dre as well, hence the association. With Dre being involved as well as a producer, along with these three actors, they, they didn't see MC win. And then they just focused on Easy e Ice Cube, and Dr. Dre, who's being played by Corey Hawkins. And Jason Mitchell's Easy e and like I said, O'Shea Jackson Jr., Ice Cube's own son, is playing Ice Cube in the movie. So we're interested to see the NWA movie, the biopic, Straight Outta Compton, coming out next summer. On August the 14th, 2015, through Universal Pictures. That is it for the attack line for today. See you all later with that in mind. Y'all been attacked by the news from Zach. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your Thursday, everybody. See ya. Yeah.